Welcome back to another Oxygen Builder tutorial. Today, we're gonna make your website go dark. So in short, this is just basically how to set up dark mode on your website with just a very simple toggle, as you can see. Now, what I'll do real quick is turn this off and scroll down and you can see I have these columns here with a kind of off gray background. And then I have this white section, got a blue, got a white, some photos. So let's just go ahead and activate dark mode and take a look at what that looks like. So as we scroll down here, what you'll notice is that these boxes right here aren't inheriting the same color as this one right here. And that's because these actually have a background color set. It looks white, but it's actually just ever so slightly off white. And because I set a color there, the dark mode functionality is not going to overtake that particular style until I add a class, which I'll show you in a little bit. The reason why this is really cool is if we scroll down here and we take a look at this banner with these example logos, that goes to the default dark color automatically because I didn't actually set a background color. So to demonstrate that, let's go ahead and disable dark mode. And then if we scroll back down here, then you can see that that has changed for us automatically because I did not set a background color on that section. Now, the other super cool thing about this is it handles inverting the text color for us. So you can see we have that black text on a white background there. And if I go ahead and pop on dark mode, then it switches to that dark background with the white text. So that text inversion is happening for us. Now, if I jump over here to the oxygen editor, what you can see is basically all you need to do is on the section that you want, you can assign a class such as BG black. Now inside of this checkbox here, which is actually a code block, there's a bit of CSS that you can get in the link in the description below, but you can actually define your own colors and your own class names. So anything you want, you can change the class name and then the background color you can actually change to whatever you want. So you can see I have one that's BG black and that's the one that makes those sections really dark. And then for instance, this little square right here, that one is actually set to BG dark, which is just a little bit lighter than the actual section background. So it kind of lifts off of it. Now, again, you can define whatever you want here. So all you would do is just basically add a little bit of CSS. Maybe let's rename this to like BG dark hyphen two or something. And then we'll set this to like a background color of let's go like 555. And then I'm just going to copy this class name here and let's actually stick it on this div right here. So again, like I mentioned from earlier, I have BG dark on this one, but I did not have a color on this particular div, which is why it wasn't changing for us automatically. But let's go ahead and save real quick and take a look on the front end. And then you can see it's changing that color for us. So that one is not that much of a difference, but you can see it's not gonna override any styles you have there unless you tell it to. Now, in terms of what you need, of course, we're working in Oxygen, and then you're gonna need the My Custom Functionality plugin. You can find a link to Sridhar from WP Dev Design's uh, GitHub download in the description below. But basically, this plugin is taking the JavaScript code that we need for that button to switch those styles for us and in queuing it in WordPress properly, instead of you just uploading it to a random directory and slapping a code block together, this just makes it much more clean. If you click the link in the description below, you can read how to go ahead and set all this up. Or if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you a basic overview of what you need to do when you log into your site via FTP. But just to give you a demonstration of how to do it, what we're going to do is go over to our pages. We're going to go to our actual home page here and edit that in Oxygen. All right, so what we're gonna do is start off by adding in a code block and everything we're gonna do outside of adding those classes to our sections is gonna take place inside this single code block here. And of course, this already assumes you have the JavaScript and that slight little modification that you need to do to the plugin already done by this point. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick my code block on top of this heading. And realistically, you would probably have this in your you know, site header. So you could have that switch to turn it on and off across your entire site. But just for this example, I'm doing it here on my homepage, totally up to you where you put it. So what we're gonna do first of all is go into our PHP and HTML and just clear this out. And this code here is actually what puts in the checkbox for us to activate or turn dark mode off. So this is really simple. And of course you can change the label here if you want to, but that's just an extremely simple checkbox. The beauty of this is that it's really simple. It can be modified using something like bootstrap or material design. You just have to basically assign the correct classes to the correct elements, which if you're interested, we can look at in a different video. Now, the only other bit of code that we need in this PHP section is just telling it where to look for the script to actually handle switching dark mode on and off. This script is just basically telling it where to find that source JavaScript code that we just input into that plugin earlier. And then, like I said, for the PHP side of things, that's all we need to do. Now we're gonna switch over here to the CSS tab, and then we're just going to paste in the CSS that we used from earlier. 
So we're not gonna make any modifications to this just yet and not apply any classes to any of these sections because what's gonna happen if you don't is this bit of CSS right here is what's gonna take priority. So it's gonna switch everything that's not already set to a background color of 111 and then it's going to use the text color of EEE for everything that should have dark mode applied to it. Now one thing is this particular code block, as you can see, you can't actually read the text because it's on this darker color section. So for this text block, I'm just gonna change the typography to white so we can actually read it. So let's go ahead and save and take a look on the front end. So now we have our dark mode switch. Again, if we go ahead and click this, anything that didn't already have a background color set is going to switch over, which is going to be these sections and then that one from earlier with the logos on it. I'm gonna turn this off and then let's switch back over here to our code block and then in the CSS section. Again, you can just basically rename these classes whatever you want. And then the other thing is, of course, you see the background color is set here. In our example from the very top here, you could also change the color, which is of course your text color. So in this case, let's say you want a background color of like four, and then you want the text color to be actual white. So now we're gonna apply the class of BG black to anything we want to look like that. So let's go ahead and just use this section here. We're just gonna add the class of BG black. And then right here, we're going to just do the same thing. And let's take a look at what it looks like on the front end. So we're gonna switch dark mode back on. And now it's dark, but it's not exactly, you know, that deep black from earlier. What's cool about this is having control over those classes means that you could assign colors here in these blocks that make sense to still give it that lifted effect. So let's actually go back over here in our code block. I'm gonna go back to the CSS tab and then the BG light class that already exists. Let's change it from a 333 to like 777 or something. And then the text color, I would want it to be white as well. Now, unless you set it specifically, it's going to inherit whatever you have at the top here. So I'm actually just gonna change this to be white everywhere, which means in essence, I don't exactly need that particular code right there. So I'm just I'm gonna apply that again. Then now we need to go take this BG light class and let's stick it on these divs right here. So I'm just gonna apply this a couple times. So now we have that class on all three of those divs. Let's save and then take a look on the front end. So now what we have is our darker color in the background, and then we have that lighter color on these divs here. So this makes it really easy to activate dark mode. Now, of course, you are gonna have to go through and change things like these divs here, but in terms of it being an easy setup, it really is because you're just going to add that class to all of these different divs. So just to demonstrate BG Light and we could just do this a couple of times to kind of see what it would look like. And because this blue actually stands out against the background, we don't need to worry about it right there, for instance. So we could just save this, refresh again, and there we go. Now that stuff is actually readable. Now I will say the deep black right here may be a bit too dark for most cases, but I mean, realistically, it's totally up to you. Because of how flexible this is, you can really make it look however you need to. But in terms of this being a functional setup, it absolutely is really simple to set up and install. And it helps you look like a super modern, fancy website with a dark mode switch. Now, just quickly before we wrap up the video, I'm gonna show you how you can add that code using FTP to your website. All right, so I've gone ahead and FTP'd into my website, and what we're gonna do is browse to the public HTML, WP content, plugins, and then we're gonna find my custom functionality master. The first thing you need to do is go to the assets folder. Inside of JS, you need to upload the dark mode switch min.js file. That's all you need to do there is just stick that in that particular file. You're gonna go back to the my custom functionality folder, and then in this plugin.php, you're just gonna go ahead and edit this file. And then try your best not to hate on me for using Notepad++ here, but I just wanted to make this simple. So what I mentioned earlier is you can rebrand this stuff so you can change the plugin name. You can change where it links to, its description, version, its author, the author URL, all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. So all you need to do is come down here to where you see function custom in queue files and somewhere inside of this bracket, realistically below these commented out lines right here, you just need to add this very basic script. So all this is doing is in queuing that file. We called it dark mode, which our PHP in the code block from earlier referenced. And then it's just looking at that JS file that you just uploaded a moment ago via FTP. That's all you need to do is go ahead and just save that. And then everything on the front end is going to work just fine. Once you do all that and follow the steps from earlier, you will then have dark mode on your website. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.